everybody. Me and this angel doggy who's just going to sit here and probably beg for treats the whole time is here to talk to you about something. So I recently saw this meme that said, I am cringe, but I am free. And I loved it because I feel as if in a world that is full of self-help and self-improvement, there's not enough discussion about self-acceptance, about self-love loving the bits and pieces of us that we aren't always the most proud of that maybe make us feel a little cringy because it is with that acceptance that awareness that love that we know what we're capable of and we know what work is required of us in order to stay in what we consider the light okay so i'm going to give you an example of this when i was taking care of steve in the first part of this journey i considered myself to be a ray of sunshine I am. I warmed people's houses in the winter. I brought light to every experience. I was peaceful. I was caring. I was giving. I was graceful. I was hope. I did not also carry the awareness of my shadow side. Now, I knew I've had some cringy moments prior to this, but I didn't really know like what was actually fully with inside of me that was I was capable of. And it wasn't until my shadow came out in full force and it was like, guess what? You're also the lightning that will strike someone's house and burn it to the ground. That took me by surprise because I had never actually fully accepted or witnessed that part of me. And I sure as heck wasn't loving that part of me. And in fact, I was shaming that part of me for so long. And so one day somebody said, you know that your rage, which is what it was coming out as, is a message and it's sacred and it deserves to be seen and heard and there's a part of you that you are not yet witnessing or, or loving and if you can find your way to doing that, you will find yourself returning back to the light. And I remember really trying to understand what led to some of my emotional meltdowns while being a caregiver to then really being like, okay, so because this need wasn't met and because I was being stretched too thin over here and because I was giving too much, self, too much of myself over here and this boundary was definitely being crossed and blah, 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 it all made sense to me suddenly to be like, okay, I have parts of me that live with inside of me that will come out as a shadow if needs aren't being met or if I'm not doing the work to stay in the light. And that awareness is what gives us our power. It's what makes us be multidimensional human beings when we're like, okay, so I am the sunshine, but I'm also the lightning. And so I know that I have work to do to stay over here. But I also know that if I come up over here, there was something that needs adjusted. There's a message to be received. And I also am just as worthy of love. I am just as worthy of loving myself in all of my cringy moments. And it's it's that understanding and awareness of, our, of all of our sides of ourselves that can help us feel like embodied humans where we're like, you know what? I'm really showing up in my power and in myself because I accept that I have all of these pieces. And while I'm going to still hold myself accountable, because just because we know we have these pieces within us, if it makes us feel out of alignment with our values to act out in like the ragey ways, then we have to do whatever work it takes for us to show back up to our light side. But if we're not accepting the fact that we even have this darkness, or if we're not even accepting the fact that we're capable of this, then we're in denial and it's just going to show up one day and we're going to have to live with that. And this isn't a one and done, I can celebrate living in the, life for, the light from now until forever kind of a thing because if my needs aren't being met, I still have things show up. Now it's quite, it's, it's, it's a little bit more mm, toxic-y, less ragey, it's more petty, it's more I'm going to punish you for not doing what I want kind of work that I have going on right now. But I accept that part of me. I love that part of me. I know I understand her. I know where she's coming out. I know what needs aren't being met. And so the only reason that I can even understand how to process some of this and how to integrate some of this into my work and how to show back up into the light that is 
more patient and understanding and practices non-attachment with how people show up in their own lives is by accepting, accepting that this part exists within me and loving that wounded little girl within me that is showing up in that shadow. If I sat and self-loathed it, then I would stay in this spiral of just feeling as if I can never be better and there's no point in trying. That's not the truth. And the other reason I really love this phrase of I am cringe, yet I am free, is because people who have the tendency towards anxiety in any way whatsoever, we often feel cringy when we're just being ourselves and we're not being cringy and embracing ourselves in all of our weirdness and all of our excitement. Like I make little kid voices when full rainbows exist. I get excited about flowers and birds and trees and I am loud and energetic and I'm fun and I'll dance and I'm acting weird. And if I am worried about how cringy that looks to other people, then I'm not allowing myself to be myself. But if I'm like, yeah, I'm cringy, but I'm free, then I am embracing all of me in, its, in, in all of my wholeness and I get to be embodied. And once you kind of see, like when you allow yourself to embrace your wildness, your wildness that you once considered cringe, and then you see how much you grow in embracing that part of you, that's when the rainbows form. That's when the light and the dark play together and form rainbows and make life just be so insanely beautiful. Because it takes both sides for life to be full. And if all you're doing is running away from what you consider your dark side, your shadow, your cringe, not only are you not integrating it, not learning the lessons, and not learning how to work with it, but you're also allowing it to cast its shadow over you anytime that you are triggered. And if you're actually self-aware of what's going on in day to day, when that shadow parts of you comes out, you're gonna say, hmm, I know what happened. I love her, I'm gonna send her some, some peace, but I also know that there's some mental gymnastics I have to do because that is not how I want to show up in the world because I'm still living in self responsibility and holding myself accountable. But I know that like this part of me came out because of this reason and it's not just Oh, something randomly triggered me. I have no idea what it was, but all of a sudden I have a mean streak, right? When you actually fully embrace it, you fully accept it, you're fully aware of it, you love yourself so you're able to look at it, that's when the magic happens. That's when the growth happens. That's when you're like coming out with creative ideas and you're, 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 you're understanding your relationships more. You're working through maybe more challenging times with people in your life better, that's when you, you know, me as a therapist, I show up best for my clients when I am allowing myself to work through my process and accepting all of myself in all of my cringy moments, loving them, working through them, integrating them. I'm able to then hold that space for them and remind them that we are all multi-dimensional human beings and it is every single part of us that makes us beautiful. And the more we learn to love and accept it, the more fully we can show up in the world. And that's how you live a fully true healed life is just to be your most authentic self. And your most authentic self is weird AF and it's cringy. And sometimes it acts out and sometimes it's toxic and sometimes it wants too much attention. But you know what? It's all beautiful because it's all you. And you and your entirety are beautiful. The more you can accept and love that, the more you can learn to work to make sure that you stay in the light, right? See, we want to stay in the light, but we got to understand the darkness to do that. So yeah, I am cringe, but I am free, and I am thankful, and I want that all for you.